Well, I'm, I'm at a spot. I'm going to walk around it. There's a lot of rock here. I'm going to walk around it on this uh, beautiful day. We'll do this section up here. There's a little bit over there, but we're going to do this section over here. And uh, I'm going to walk down around past it and then come up through it to it um, because of the wind direction. But a lot of this rock has just recently been exposed because of the receding water levels due to the uh, um, lack of uh, rain I mentioned before. Um, I'm cutting this, in my mind, I'm cutting this into sections. So we're going to do this section over here first. And uh, then, I'll, then I'll do the other sections. And uh, we'll, do them, we'll do them in pieces because i got to do a little bit of... i got to keep in mind of my time frame on my videos. So, all right. Here we go. Let's see what we find in this stretch right here behind us. So, hang on. Here we go. So once again, I'm looking for small things. Arrowheads, agates, teeth, fossils, and as such. Not sure there's anything worth picking up in here. Oops. What are you? It's the bottom of a bottle. Just got some markings on I can um, it's relatively, relatively modern. I'm just going to check this little rock out right here, just out of curiosity. No, nope, that's nothing important, nothing, nothing that interesting. Some old porcelain. So, what I refer to as a muddy foot day, because uh, the water is down, it's exposed a lot of, a lot of mud, and uh, my feet are muddy most of the day, and I'm out here walking on these areas. I can see, to my left of me, I can see old boot prints. Something big stepped here. You can see all the outline. So that might be a boot print. I don't know. But off to my left of me, it's most certainly a, a boot print. There's a cool shiny rock. Looks like an old it's a piece of piece of chert of some type. Type. Beautiful color. Just kind of what I would call root beer color. Love to find a point made of it. Maybe they used it. Maybe they didn't. I'm uh, I'm no napper, that's for sure. Oh, I see something over here already. Well, already. After all that, we'll go we'll go over here a little bit, and then we'll come back to that. What I see, we'll just check out over here where the water was just here recently. See something over here. I thought it was a. Uh, freshwater mussel shell, but when I looked at it again, I realized it's not. It's man-made, in fact. So that's what I saw right there. This item. Huh. Sorry about that. I'm trying to move here. The weir. Patented March 1st, 1892. Hmm. You know, I, I when I first look at it here, I want to say insulator. But after I look at it a little bit longer, especially on this side, I realize what this is. This is a food container lid that had a metal hasp that went up over and then you could lock this down. It had a, a, a metal ring that went in here, uh, a D-ring, and then you flip the piece up over on the fulcrum and latched it down and it held the lid on there tight. That's what that is. But I've never heard of this company. 
I'll have to do the research on it. And if it's anything, well, I'll do the research on it and I'll put it, no matter what, I'll put it in the description below. So, by all means, check out the description. I'm just going to walk across this little point here. It's a hot, hot day. Very humid. Started out very foggy this morning driving here. And uh, the, bottoms, the bottoms were especially thick with fog. And that fog has given way to some sun, but this time of the year, the sun takes a long time before it hits the bottom of these uh, little rivers and stuff. So that's a, that's a blessing. And uh, I'm still walking mostly in the shade. And that's a blessing. But it's very humid. Very humid. All right. That's this section of rock. We have uh, one find out of it. We will continue uh, going over. I'll divide this in my mind here. I got already segmented out. So I'll uh, turn on the camera and go to the next section. If I find anything, you'll see that one. Appreciate it greatly. Scouts out.